Out in the open now, an astonishing story about a pregnancy gone horribly wrong. Uh, morning sickness, of course, is something a lot of us have dealt with. You don't want to hear my boring stories about dealing with it eight months each time I had a baby. But doctors say there is an especially severe form of morning sickness called HG. It often goes underdiagnosed, and it led one woman to an extreme step that turned out to be tragic. Susan Candiotti has her story in tonight's Vital Signs. All right, let's go fill her up. You want to water the strawberries? Yeah. Ashley McCall is a proud mother of two. Elise just turned three. Emil is eight. If things had gone as planned, they would have had a big brother. And what was your baby's name to be? Tennessee Elijah McCall. But and Tennessee would, would never be born because McCall had an abortion, and the would-be uh, mother says it was the biggest mistake of her life. It started when she learned she was pregnant. Describe for me what your life was like during that first pregnancy. It was, it was torture. It was isolating. It was alienating. Torture. I began getting morning sickness on Thanksgiving Day. Um, I was six weeks along. And what was the morning sickness like? It was like the flu, but it never abated. This was way beyond what a few saltine crackers could cure. I couldn't eat anything. I was vomiting six times a day. Six times six a day? Six times a day. McCall's husband was stunned. It started to get really scary real quick. I lost about 14% of my total body weight. I was 109 pounds at the end of the pregnancy. I'm 150 pounds now, so imagine me dropping that much weight, about 40 pounds. How bad did it get? I began to hallucinate and see faces coming out of the walls, stucco walls, and the plush carpet patterns, I would see faces. Even light and some smells would send her spinning. What did your doctor say was wrong with you? M my doctor said that I was pregnant, not sick. After 15 weeks into her pregnancy, we decided to terminate the pregnancy. Extra water. But her greatest shock was yet to come. She discovered she was suffering from hyperemesis gravidarum, a debilitating form of morning sickness experienced by only about five of every 1,000 births. Doctors say the exact cause of HG is unknown. And what's more, it's treatable. Doctors say HG is a severe disorder that's underdiagnosed. I was horrified by what I found, me that I had options that were not afforded to me and that I did not know about and that I could not ask for because I didn't know about them. And uh, I was furious. Dun, 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 After discovering she had HG, McCall found doctors who would treat her. Pregnancy would still be difficult and painful. Yet McCall said she had to prove to herself she could carry to term. I knew that if I did it again, I could never be sorry for the first one. All these years I've been grieving in my heart and I've been saying how sorry I was. And I knew if I did it again, all that sorrow meant it would mean nothing. It wouldn't have been real. She suffered a miscarriage her second pregnancy, but later Elise and Emil were born. She's written a book about HG that tries to answer questions she had. Every sweet, wonderful thing my children do now, it's tinged with a little bit of sadness because I know there was another one. I just have to live with it, and I will, and I am. And I'm trying to help other people so they don't have to. Help them, she says, to avoid her mistake. Susan Candiotti, CNN, Quincy, Florida. Head on Larry King Live, fresh from the Ex-Wives Club reality show. Celebrity Ex-Wives sit down with Larry and share their secrets.